Hello everyone, welcome back to Legion 9. We are continuing our playthrough with the Roman Empire. Let's see how the story unfolds. Kolimbasha, hmm? Colombo. Okay, now it's all right, Joya. I think I'm check us there all. Oh, that's how The Roman Legion has been revived. My name is Gaius Julius Mento.
over each Alvina Virginia cannot join Barbarians performed a resurrection in this wretched forest. They dabbled in arts far beyond their primitive minds. They brought a demigoddess called Morgosi back from the dead. The magic they unleashed was so powerful that it left a permanent mark on the landscape. I questioned a few picked captives, but their confessions revealed nothing. We must find out who or what helped them to pierce the veil of Avalon. The fate of our eternal Rome may depend on it. You've questioned the captives, you say? I crucified them, and the ravens took care of the rest. How brutal. Peasants. Freshly slaughtered and bled out. Sacrifices feeding some primitive blood magic. We should tread lightly. Blood magic? Why should we bother? We can still bleed and die before we rise again. Okay. By Mars. I need no riches. I need more death. You heard the orders of the great shaman. The prisoners shall be bled dry. Slice every vein. Pry their bellies open. The soil thirsts for an offering. The blood we spill pleases the eater of gods. Yeah. Oh. They are killing everybody. <laughs> Brutality mode. Roman dogs are here, stinking, a sword far in death, two arms. Beware, any blow dealt by the picks will feed their blood magic. That includes not just us, but those lowly peasants as well. Do you want me to save them? Isn't that ironic?
channeled to a ritual that is happening now. Yeah, but we saved the villager. Stand back while I count the spoils. Should we press on or stay? Press on. Save me, Lord Christ! Please, don't kill me, demons! The pigs dragged us here from the village and started killing everyone. Oh, dear God! We begged them, but they two warriors started arguing and fighting and I just ran away. Please, thank you! Children of the depths, come to me. Look at those poor things. Still praying to the godling that died on a stick? But worry not. The great shaman demands only your blood. The meat and bone shall satisfy the hunger of my children.
brothers. Don't look at them. Just run. Pass me a few denarii. to Orcus. Oh, mighty eater of gods! Your blood magic is a most blessed curse. Like a tick burrowing into flesh, I will engorge myself on the anguish of my enemies. As they bleed, my power grows. You are going to die. Romans, snakes of Aboracum, step forth. Your suffering shall be legendary. My tribe was blessed by the Eater of Gods. We are invincible. A most terrifying servant of the dark. Spew more lies, devil. I already sent for the Eater of Gods so he could win.
I'll be quick. for death. focus where Morgossi's resurrection took place. It is too early to tell, but I see a possible solution to lighting my own magical beacon that shines through the many layers of existence. One more element is missing to complete the ritual. I must study yet another site such as this one. Don't you dare question me in such matters. I'm not some sword-rattling fool. If you are itching for more swordplay, think about that Eater of Gods. The one the shaman was babbling about. It's a Fomorian beast. I need no riches. I need more death. You can have my share, brothers. Tartaros was calling to me. Let's fight the Eater of Gods. The mighty Fomorian beast. Effigy of Balor! The Dark King carved into flesh! Eater of Gods! For the power you gave us, please accept the final sacrifice. Oh. 
such fine morsels. A reward for wasting time with these pit worms. You dare to challenge the Eater of Gods. Why? <laughs>